I would have to say that I love my students and I believe in their possibilities unconditionally. When I look at them, I can only see what they can become. And that is because I am one of them. I grew up poor in North Philadelphia too. I know what it feels like to go to a school that's not a school. I know what it feels like to wonder if there's ever going to be any way out of poverty. But because of my amazing mother, I, was, I got the ability to dream despite the poverty that's around me. So, if I'm going, if I'm going to push my students toward their dream and their purpose in life, I got to get to know who they are. So I have to spend time with them. So I manage the lunchroom every day. <laughs> and while I'm there, I talk to them about deeply personal things. And when it's their birthday, I sing happy birthday, even though I cannot sing at all. <laughs> I often ask them, why do you want me to sing when I cannot sing at all? <laughs> And they respond by saying, because we like feeling special. We hold monthly town hall meetings to listen to their concerns, to find out what is on their mind. They ask us questions like, why do we have to follow rules? Why are there so many consequences? Why can't we just do what we want to do? <laughs> They ask, and I answer each question honestly. And this exchange in listening helps to clear up any misconceptions. Every moment is a teachable moment. My reward, my reward, for being non-negotiable in my rules and consequences is their earned respect. I insist on it. And because of this, we can accomplish things together. They are clear about my expectations for them. And I repeat those expectations every day over the PA system. I remind them <laughs> I remind them of those core values of focus, tradition, excellence, integrity, and perseverance. And I remind them every day how education can truly change their lives. And I end every announcement the same. If nobody told you they loved you today, you remember I do, and I always will. Ashley's words of miss, miss, this is not a school, is forever etched in my mind. If we are truly going to address or make real progress in addressing poverty, then we have to make sure that every school that serves children in poverty is a real school. A school, a school, a school that provides them with knowledge and mental training to navigate the world around them. I do not know all the answers, but what I do know is for those of us who are privileged and have the responsibility of leading a school that serves children in poverty, we must truly lead. And when we are faced with unbelievable challenges, we must stop and ask ourselves, so what? Now what? What are we going to do about it? And as we lead, we must never forget that every single one of our students is just a child, often scared, by what the world tells them they should be. And no matter what the, the rest of the world tells them, 
they should be. We should always provide them with hope, our undivided attention, unwavering belief in their potential, consistent expectations, and we must tell them often. If nobody told them they loved them today, remember we do, and we always will. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus.